Come on, Arval, seriously? You can't drag me off to sleep like this when the battle's about to start. Sorry, but we need to talk. Do you remember the warning I once gave you? Well, I've been struck by a similar premonition now. Something feels wrong. Very wrong. Last time this happened, the Ashen Demon showed up and nearly sent me to an early grave. You think the same thing's gonna happen today? Hard to say for sure. But the feeling's worse this time around. Stronger. So if I had to guess, I'd say they're on the cusp of something terrible. An act far more dangerous than we previously imagined. Well, whatever's happening, I'm just gonna have to stop it. So long as you don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger, yes. Remember, your death would cut both of our destinies far too short. Let's clean up. I can depart at once. Taking this tech. Just do as I planned. Let us band together. I'm on it. No charge. I've got your back. Let's begin. Allow me to help. Let's get this operation underway, shall we? I suppose I can help. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Not a problem. I've got this. Territory will <laughs> greatly advance Stand the war front. Now come. Let us strike at their command. The enemy has surrounded our main... Force, Your Majesty. We must clear them away. Remember, we have more than the Imperial troops in Randolph to think about. Keep your eyes on those mercenaries, too. No point in us fighting the Ashen Demon here if we can avoid it. You got my back? Don't let me down. Let us begin. You can count on me. You're mine. Forgive me. But we can Can't afford to lose here. I'll handle this. I'll tell you apart.
friend. <laughs> Our orders are... Let me Just add. one left! Demons probably with them. We're gonna have a decision on our hands once they show up. Leave everything. Good thing we brought a recon unit. They'll sniff out any ambushes that might be lying around. Our auxiliary unit is battling the enemy. We have to help them. Unit to uncover any ambushes awaiting us. That was like a charm. We won't have to worry about the enemy surprising us now. Contact. Let's keep moving.
You won't lay a finger on my brother! Is that Randolph's little sister? What is she doing here? Hmm. So they slipped free, and I'm <laughs> toying them. We go for the jugular. <laughs> Ambushes are a textbook mercenary tactic. All will be lost if our base falls. Send reinforcements. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Begin the operation. Our order. <laughs> Hold this position. I've got it. Let's give it. <laughs> Do not let a single one in. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything. I'm with Gerald's pad, you know. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Don't think I'll go. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Down so easily. You left the nights all always? What a surprise. I could say the same of your sudden departure. But regardless, here we stand as enemies. Bring me someone worth my time. Not gonna die here. Not a problem. I've got this. Stand back. It's done. I can still fight. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. We will not let them inside our base. I'll take you all on. Let us take this stronghold. Is that really the best you can do? Well, it'll take more than that. I'm not gonna die here. For me. On to the next one. I can't believe how far you've come. Yeah. 
Send word to the demon. Our ambush is a failure. Got it. Begin the our orders are I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. In the operation. Our orders are clear. Let me at him. Yeah. <laughs> take this stronghold.
I'm gonna follow your lead. I got you now. I can still keep going. I'm not gonna die here. I'll She's take pretty you young for a general. Not that we have any right to talk about that. If you want to get through here, you'll have to kill me first. Randolph, I'm so sorry. Please stay safe. Much as it pains me, we cannot relent. If we do not defeat your commander, this battle will never reach its conclusion. If only I had done more to stop her from fighting! So Alois has found it. I'll be right there. I've got it. Alois has fled too. Then it falls to me! I've got it. The commander is joining the battle. Everyone, on me! Our moment for victory has come! Randolph's joined the fight? I better fall back and help him out. You know what must be done. If you want to protect your friends, you have to put an end to the demon! Finish off Randolph before that monster arrives. I'm going to avenge you. Get away at her! I can't die here. I must protect my own. I must protect... Forgive me. I leave to take care of one backup squad and come back to this? What a mess. Randolph is defeated, and you are the only ones who remain. The question now is, will you and your mercenaries yield? <sighs> I see no other choice. Well fought, everyone. We emerge victorious! What can I say? You got us. You rolled right over us and took out our employer. <laughs> I know when it's time to raise the white flag. Wait, that's it? You're giving up? We've faced you in battle many times, only to be bested at every turn. Yeah, you've pretty much run us out of business by now. It's not easy finding new clients in the best of times. And no matter how good our reputation is, none of it matters if we can't actually win. At this rate, I'll have to stop calling myself the Blade Breaker. In that case, what would you say to a new employer? The Holy Kingdom of Fargus. We've crossed swords many times and suffered great losses on both sides. We surely bear some bad blood between us. But part of me wonders if we cannot put that gruesome history behind us. Assuming, of course, it was coin, not conviction, that brought you to the Empire's side. Don't worry. Words like conviction aren't even in a Merc's vocabulary. But if we do join up with you, I can't imagine there will be much avoiding the Knights of Seros. The problem is, me and the Archbishop have a bit of a past together. I'd prefer to keep my distance if I can. Well, I'll remember that. The Church has stationed themselves in the town of Camulus within Blaith of Territory. We'll be sure to keep you away from there. And I promise to warn you should Lady Rhea ever visit our encampment. Ah, and I'll place you in a separate unit, should we ever fight alongside the knights themselves. 
Are those conditions agreeable? We could use your strength among our ranks if you're willing to join. Yeah, you should join us. I mean, by now we all know firsthand how strong you are. And sure, there might be some folks here and there who have reservations about you fighting on our side. But they'll definitely come around once they see how dependable you are. What do you say? I doubt the Empire will have any jobs for us after all of this. No better time for a fresh start. I agree. And you, Alois? It might be strange, being back on the same side as your old knight friends. I've already made my decision. I have sworn to follow this fine captain wherever he goes. Besides, I'm sure my allies will welcome me back with... Well, not with open arms. Uh, they'll welcome me back with crossed arms. Well, I guess that's that. Just tell us when we start. I'll go talk to the group and smooth things over. You two, stay here with the client. Got it, thanks. Understood, Captain. We have a good bit of smoothing over to do on our end as well. Let's get to it. <sighs> I'll use this to protect my friends. I cannot grow complacent. I won't let myself stop here. It feels strange standing here with the Bladebreaker and the Ashen Demon, after all we've been through. We have fought so many times, I never expected we would end up on the same side. Those two give us quite the struggle, all the better that they're on our side now. I've got my own grievances, but the end result is a positive one. And whatever we may feel, this is His Majesty's choice. Not everyone will be too happy about it, but let's all just try and get along, okay? Though I'm sure the Ashen Demon being such a stunning beauty will soften the blow a bit. Uh, kidding, of course. I thought you had outgrown those jokes. Why don't you do us all a favor and stay quiet? It'll be an honor teaming up with you. Oh, and don't let me forget to introduce you to everyone later. <laughs> I think we should start with a nice sparring session. That's the Blue Lion's way, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed it is. I recall the same thing happening the last time we invited a mercenary into our ranks. We're happy to be here. And, uh, try to fit in, kid. We know all too well what you're capable of. I'm glad such might will now be fighting for our cause, rather than against it. I'll start researching how best to incorporate Gerald and his mercenaries into our formations. From here, we plan to join up with the Alliance and the Church, then march on Garrig Mach as one unified force. I'll do what I must to ensure Lady Rhea doesn't come into contact with our new friends here. I appreciate it. And what of our other mercenary friend? You've been awfully... quiet. Where did they go? Sorry about all this, Arval. I know you've only been giving me your powers because you want me to beat the Ashen Demon. Don't worry about it. It's for the best, right? 
For all my doomsaying, everything seems to be right as rain. Recruiting Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon was the right choice. I hope you're right. What's wrong? Feeling lost now that you don't have an enemy to chase around the countryside? I'm not lost. I know exactly what I've got to do. Win this war. I'm gonna help Dimitri and my friends make a new Fodlin where everyone can live in peace. Well, any snarky follow-up for that? It's hardly the first time you've mentioned it. I suppose it's a fine goal, yes. If that's what you want, then I'll just have to help you achieve it. After all, I'm your partner in destiny. I'm here for you and you alone. I pray for your safety in the coming battle, Your Majesty. And you can rest easy. We will cover the Western Front in your absence. I don't know what I've done to deserve such reliable knights in my service, but I thank you all the same. The monastery will be ours, I swear it. Now then, let us all live to see the sun rise on Fargus another day. Yes, Your Majesty. Guess this is it. The final push. Indeed. And with Lester and the Church involved, this will undoubtedly be our largest battle since this very war began. By now, we're well acquainted with what Adrestia is capable of. Yet, it's difficult to predict what we'll be up against. All we can do now is take up arms to fight, survive, and ultimately, carve our way to victory. Every one of our battles so far has been important, yes. But this one seems almost overwhelmingly so, especially considering how far we have come to get here. But at the same time, it all feels like it's happened so quick. I mean, I can remember the Empire declaring war on the Church as if it were yesterday. If you don't mind me asking, Your Majesty, say we do get the Monastery back, what happens then? We push forward to Enbar, of course. After that, I can't say. But there's no sense speaking of such matters now. We must focus on the task at hand. We are ever by your side, Your Majesty, no matter what comes next. All of us have chosen this path, and we will stand by it. What's wrong, Mercy? Are you nervous? Oh, no. I was just... thinking about something. Do you remember that Death Knight who was fighting with the Empire? I wonder where he is now. Huh, good question. He used to show up all the time, but it's been a while since he's made an appearance. I guess we better be ready for him to come charging out at any moment, just to be safe. Yes, I think you're right. He was quite the warrior. Come on, everyone. We've got to get to ALL before the enemy catches on to us.